<clears throat> All right. So what's up, everybody? That was a weak week. <clears throat> All right. So what's up, everybody? Graham Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Should be a fairly quick one today. This is the Aegeus pod that I've been using for about two months now, and it's been... It's honestly been pretty rad. It's got one flaw that I I just don't like and I can't get over it and it kind of bums me out. But we'll get there in a second. What I want to do right now is quickly set up a brand new, fresh Aegis pod. So yeah, let's real quickly set up this Aegis pod, the toughest and smartest Aegis. Please do not charge the device when it's wet. Good advice. Aegis pod, yeah. So here it is. Yeah, it's a it's a honker. It's a beefy guy, gunmetal, rubber on the side. It's still got that squishy, squishy, like leather, faux leather and stitching on there. Kind of goes right along with how the AGS pods and the other AGS, not AGS pods, other AGS products in this product line look, that aesthetic. Kind of feels like a little fancy little car fob or something, I guess. And what's this on the bottom? Freaking USB-C. Look at it. Look at it. It says push right here. Yeah, push, pod comes out. Inside, those are your connections right there where your pod's gonna, you know, connect to the pod and I or connect to the battery rather. And I just wanna pull this one out and kind of compare. Yeah, this stays clean. This is very, very clean. This is the one I've been using. This is brand new, both very clean. This one might have a, a little bit of like liquid spittle or something in there, but these pods stay very clean. Two coil heads are included. They're both the same. It's mesh 0.6. They say to run it between 13 to 18 watts. Not sure why that's even on there because there's nothing to adjust on this pod. Just gonna put a few, whoops. To prime this coil head up, I'm just gonna put like three drops if I can aim one, two, three, come on, you can do it. Yeah, nothing too fancy here. These just slide in and snap in with like an O-ring. Can peel this off of here now for sure. There's a little plug on the bottom, fill port right there. Blah. Kind of got to hold it at an angle to fill it all the way, all the way up. There's two kind of separate chambers in there. They're not separate. I shouldn't have said separate. Not separate. One big chamber that's kind of slightly separated by the coil head. This is one of those pods that I've never had any problems with too much juice on one side rather than the other. It's nice and open in there. Filled. Boosh. Put it in. Boosh. Aegeus pod. Boosh. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Like I said, there's nothing to adjust. No up-down buttons. No wattage adjustment. No nothing. It's not even an auto draw. You have to press the button to get it to fire. So let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape the Aegeus pod. And it's just a five on, five off. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna blink and that's it. Like I said, there's nothing to adjust. No voltage or wattage up and down buttons. You just get the voltage that you get. There is also no airflow adjustment on either of these pods, which is kind of weird. It's not quite a mouth to lung and it's a really restricted lung. I feel like they tried to do this one size fits all airflow on here and it doesn't, ah, doesn't quite work because I want this to be a mouth to lung and I like an open mouth to lung, but even this is a little bit too open of a mouth to lung for me. You can pull it off as you saw. It works much better, much, much better as just a full on restricted lung. Press the button, lung inhale. And I forgot how beautifully flavorful a brand new coil head is. This is the brand new one that I just set up. This is my old one, same liquid in both of them. Didn't even notice until just now. This old coil head just tastes so, so bad. And I guess that brings me to the big gripe of this pod system is I feel like it's a little bit overpowered. I feel like it's a little bit overclocked, as some would say. It's quick and responsive. In fact, you can't turn it off without also firing it five times. Every one of those five button presses is firing the coil. That's how quick and responsive it is. And it hits real well. It hits hard right out of the gate. It's pretty impressive actually until you realize that there is no voltage up down button. I wish that I could just turn the voltage down just a little bit. I think the constant power from this and what feels like too much voltage is leading to just quicker dead coil heads. It still vapes but the flavor quality is bucket. It tastes bad and doesn't perform like it used to. And that vape experience starts off so great and then ends 
so quickly. Whatever voltage that this is given off, I'm assuming it's standard like 3.74 volts. It's just too much for this mesh coil head and it's killing the coil heads too quickly. I can't get an Aegis coil head in this pod system to last me more than a few days. And it starts off so great, so warm, so powerful, so flavorful so flavorful but unfortunately because of how hot this is it just it just kills coil heads dead and i don't know if that necessarily speaks to maybe too much wattage or too much voltage or maybe just i don't know not amazing coil heads and just as an example in literally every other pod system that i have i can turn up the wattage and get that like big, you know, warm, strong vape right out of the gate. But if I want my coil heads to have any longevity to them at all, turn that wattage down. There's no need to redline it all the time. You're just gonna kill your coil head faster. And without running the risk of repeating myself, I feel like that's what's killing these coil heads on this Aegis pod. Otherwise, it's honestly awesome. It feels good, it looks cool. It's got this like stitching leather that's really soft. It's got a nice clicky button, it's got you know, all the bells and whistles. It's a cool little pod. So I guess let's do vape budget hands. You're gonna need your vape budget hands for the AGS pod? No, not really. It's about 38, 40 bucks, clicking around the internet most places. Well, nope, they're about 25 bucks. So no vape budget hands needed. If we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game, is the AGS pod something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? It Truly and honestly, probably not. It vapes so well at first, but that vape is taken away from you quickly by the death of your coil head. If I was able to adjust the wattage on this and say, turn it down to maybe, you know, 13, 14 watts to maybe get a little bit more life out of my coil head, then we'd be having a different discussion. But as it stands, I feel like it's just overpowered or the resistance is too low and that's kind of where I have to leave this. So flavorful though at the beginning. Links are not allowed in the description. Thank you so much, YouTube. So you're gonna have to use your Google food, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is still 95% less harmful than combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, let's keep on vaping. <laughs>